Abdul said he didn't like this one as much. So um, I was my expectations weren't as high, but I think it's good. I don't get the lactose like you do. No, but it, I do I get some of the strawberry. I think it's a little creamy. I think it's a little creamy. What else is creamy, Mike? Uh, ice cream oh, is okay. creamy. Yeah. Bananas are creamy. <laughs> Another Chicago Brew Crew. I'm here with uh, my fellow craft beer enthusiast Ricardo. Hello. And uh, today we're talking about something really cool. I, I thought I'd, I'd touch on uh, Gypsy Brewers and uh, a brewery that's more up and coming, I guess you could say, in the U.S. as far as popularity and uh, uh, just people finding out about them. Omni Polo. Omni Pollo. For the Mexican and Spanish. <laughs> Omni Pollo. Um, yeah, really, really cool brewery. I thought I'd talk about the two. Uh, latest beers they just came out with. So I got right here is the Bianca and then the Abracadabra, which is a IPA with strawberries, lactose, and uh, vanilla, I believe. What? Yeah, some crazy stuff. The Bianca, fairly similar. It has vanilla, lactose. What else did it have in here? Uh, you know what? I'm sorry. Alcohol. It was just alcohol. <laughs> just uh, mango and lactose for this bad boy. I guess we'll start off right here with the Bianca. Mm hmm. And Bianca is a ghost style. It is a German um, influenced beer. It is an unfiltered wheat beer. Typically, um, it can be kind of like accented by like different kind of syrups, whether it be like a cherry syrup or um, strawberry syrup, usually something that's a little bit fruity and like sweet. Um, I do get sometimes with it like slight salty kind of note sometimes. Not, you know, heavy salt, but you're gonna get like some slight salty, fruity kind of notes coming up. All right, so uh, yeah, so we got here their uh, ghost style here. Mm -hmm. There's a little bit of mango and lactose. Um, I like mango. I do too. Well, we're Mexican, so it's just kind of... It's in our blood. It's like the we first thing we eat when we were conceived. Well, I don't know if that was the first thing I ate when, <laughs> when I was conceived, but hey, whatever. So yeah, you kind of get some funky kind of notes coming off of it. Um, As you see that how it looks like, it's kind of cloudy. The yeah. The component of it, of course. And Omni Polo, I have a, you know, kind of noticed that a lot of their beers are unfiltered. They, they have a tendency to like unfiltered beers. I think it kind of looks cool. Um, the unfilteredness does kind of add a little bit of characteristic to it. So yeah, let's try it out. Salud. Salud. Hmm. So slightly sour tartness kind of coming off. Uh, finish with a little bit of um, kind of saltiness. Just like I said, it is pretty traditional with the, with the ghost style. Um, not necessarily a sour but an introduction to sours, I guess you could say. Yeah. Um, in my opinion, that's why I like ghost styles so much. I love sours. And this one is really, really nice because it's clean, it's refreshing, but it's not overly tart, it's not overly sour. There's, you know, there's fruit notes and stuff in there really help make it pop. I think I get like a gentle like sweetness to it, kind of like a dried mango. And like Mike was saying, it does kind of finish a little bit salty. This is great as a palate cleanser, aperitif, or even if you do kind of want to experiment by adding like those syrups as we talked yes. about earlier as a dessert. But I think this is very like food friendly. I would consider ghost style like table beer. I would say it kind of, it's a very summery kind of beer. So it's very interesting sure. that they just came out with this right now. When it's hot outside, this is something that would be really nice if you're having like a, a picnic or something like that. Um, you know, what would be interesting to me is what if we had tried French pressing like mangoes, actual whole mangoes into this. I think it would actually bring some really nice characteristics to what it already has. Um, now, Omni Polo is awesome. Um, you know, Gypsy, Gypsy Brewers are basically people that go from brewery to brewery brewing their stuff. It's actually a smart idea if you don't have a lot of capital to start your own uh, brewery. But yeah, I mean, his beers are his beers are awesome. Um, he's actually South African. I don't know why a South African would move to Sweden. I mean, it just seems like I'd like to stay somewhere warm. 
but uh, he makes solid beers. He's really big into the arts, um, so he makes all his artwork himself. Actually, most of his beers are painted on. This one happens to not be uh, painted on there, but yeah, he makes some really, really cool artwork as well. But yeah, I mean, this is this is a solid brew. I, I don't know what else I could really um, explain other than the fact that if you're looking for something that's slightly tart and sour, that uh, you should definitely check it out. Yeah, it's a great introductory beer to this particular style and very highly flushy. All right, so uh, now we're gonna try the Abrahadabra, the lactose IPA of theirs. What? Look at that, like magic. Abracadabra. Like, you are a gypsy. That <laughs> brewer. Well, brujo, you, whatever. <laughs> brujo, brujo. Well, you know, we, we have to add in, add in the, uh, the the visual effects here and, and really, um, you know, this, this is basically as, as high class as we get right here. I mean, this is, this is almost, almost like, a, like a movie, I guess you could say. Mm, Just like The Revenant. In any case, Abracadabra, <laughs> IPA. Fruit and strawberries, vanilla, and lactose. Uh, pretty complex. I've actually never had an IPA like this before. I've never had this one, so I really don't know what to expect. Uh, I can tell you one thing: Omnipolo is very well known for making IPAs, so I'm sure it's really good. So let's try it out. I kind of get what, like a pinkish haze. Yeah, I see like there's like almost like a little hue where it's getting yeah. a little darker almost in the sun is in the bottom. It's kind of neat. I have a feeling that's from the strawberries that I'm getting this color in. I kind of want to dip like a little like paintbrush and you know, then, see what kind of nice nice smells, <laughs> watercolor things I can make. Let's well, drink, yo. Let's do it. Look. Ooh wee! You wow. get a little bit of that, like strawberry, like at the end. This and, is and a crazy. It's nice beer. little subtle strawberry, almost like kind of like the, the seeds, kind of like yeah. Like if you remember when you were young, I don't know if your mom ever made you liquido because the first thing that you Man, had I when you were born was a mango. <laughs> but like if you ever had to make liquido with like strawberry, and if you didn't put sugar in it, it kind of that's how it tastes to me. Yeah, this is actually I like it a lot. Um, I'm not sure what, what other people are thinking about this beer who have tried it, but I am very impressed. You get the vanilla, you get the strawberry, everything is right there but very well balanced in my opinion. And then that lactose kind of adds a little bit of like thickness to it, um, kind of like, I don't want to say like jello, but, but it, it, you know, it, it makes it kind of creamy, I guess you could say. So it, it makes it a little creamy. Um, this is an awesome beer. Just and clocking really in cool. at 6%. You don't feel that guilty finishing the whole thing by yourself. That's true. Um, also, something that I just completely forgot. What I think is really cool, like I said, he's an artist. So, what you have in the front right here, if you were to turn off all the lights, it's a little little fade because you can't really see it that well unless it's really dark. This glows in the dark. What? Yeah, that shit glows in the dark. So, I thought that Are was really sure, cool. I'm positive. You're not making stuff up. I'm not making it up. I'm 100 percent sure. You turn okay. the lights off. This thing's gonna. This thing's gonna glow up. I guess we're gonna sign off from uh, your home to Chicago. We hope you appreciated the video and salute. Salut. Cheers.